Alright, so if your setup looks like this, then let me help you. So after that video, you can flex on your friends with a setup that looks like this. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is download a Linux distribution because Linux is just superior and Ragnar runs on Linux. So download any uh, distribution. I'm going to show it on Arch, but it will work on your distribution as well. Alright, so if you're in your distribution and in your terminal, you're going to want to type git clone https github.com slash cococrys dash ragnar going to do that and then you cd into ragnar and as you can see you have the files of ragnar and meanwhile you can also star ragnar on github uh, if you want <laughs> and uh, if you did that do sudo make ragnar install and um, you're going to type your password and that's basically it now ragnar is installed and if you get any errors um, that's because you don't have the dependencies uh, installed so if you're on ubuntu or any um, yeah debian based system you're going to want to type sudo apt-get install xorg xorg init git make cc you're going to want to type that and if you're on um, on uh, Arch based, you're going to want to type sudo pacman s. Alright, alright, nice. And by the way, if you're on Ubuntu, you can also um, in a CD into install and then do Ubuntu installation and just execute that script and it will install it and also add it to your sessions. So your session manager will recognize Ragnar, so that's pretty cool. So if you're on Ubuntu, do that. And if you're on art, you could technically also um, clone it from the AUR by doing paru or pacman s ragnar uh, wm. And that will also work, but um, you can't uh, really change the config that way, so this way is uh, my preferred way. Alright, so if you um, installed Ragnar, uh, you're going to want to cd dot dot into your home directory. So in here, you're going to want to type uh, nvim dot x init rc or just your editor. So edit uh, this file dot x init rc, and uh, into that file, you're going to want to type exec Ragnar. All right, and uh, this will start Ragnar um, on your start um, of the machine, and uh, yeah, so. Also, you can, if you have a bash rc or zsh rc, uh, you can add uh, this. So just uh, type this into your bash rc uh, or zsh rc, and this will automatically um, start the x server if it's not started. So you won't have to type start x. All right. Um, so that's basically all of the setup. Um, now. Now you can either type start x or if you're already in a window manager, just quit that window manager. And yeah, I'm going to quit my window manager and reinstall Ragnar. So we're going to see us in a second. Alright, I'm back. And as you can see, we have this. Um, I just uh, started up a terminal. And if you can't start your terminal, um, then you're going to have to install uh, Alacrity. Um, so just install Alacrity. Um, with your package manager, just pacman s or sudo apt-get alacrity, uh, because this is a standard uh, terminal of um, Ragnar. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's uh, not that it's not looking great, I would say. And to make it look great, you have to configure it, like every window manager. And um, yeah, as you can see, my uh, keyboard um, is. My keyboard layout, layout is wrong. I have a German keyboard. So if you want to load your layout, just type set XKB map and then your layout. And um, if you don't want uh, to type that uh, every time when you start Ragnar, go onto your Ragnar folder and um, there will be a file called Ragnar start. And in here you can specify what should happen if Ragnar starts. And we can say set XKB uh, map DE. And this will just um, set your keyboard uh, layout uh, 
to uh, your spe specified keyboard layout and always add the uh, the end sign to the end uh, because this will uh, start the command as a separate process all right um, quit that and uh, now you can type sudo make install to um, apply the changes so always if you change something sudo make install or sudo make right now install um, yeah, alright, so now configuring. Um, let's jump into the config.h file and uh, as you can see right away, the monitors. If you have multiple monitors, specify your monitors here. I have multiple monitors, so I'm going to type 2 and um, with the next monitor, just add a comma and then monitor width is equal to, for me the width is that and the height is uh, 1440 and um, this will add my second monitor perfect uh, now the ui refresh rate you can and that's just the re rate so every second uh, the bar refreshes you can change that if you want to and here um, uh, like the juicy part uh, begins uh, you can set your terminal and that's the terminal that's going to be used by your terminal shortcut and um, also for your web browser, if you don't like Firefox, change it, for example, I use Brave. And for the application launcher, let's just use um, uh, Rofi app launcher. I have a script that uh, runs Rofi, so for me I'm using that. And now the font, uh, we are using monospace in here. For the font, um, I will use uh, JetBrains uh, mono. Nerd font. Um, I don't know if that's typed correctly. I think yeah, JetBrains mono nerd font. Size so going to be uh, 12 and style is going to be bold. Um, so that's the font for the UI. So for the bar and window decorations, if you have them turned on. And font size is 12. Yeah. Font color. Um, yeah, we can leave that white. And by the way, if uh, if you can't load that font. Uh, go to your package manager, type paru or pacman or apt-get uh, dash s uh, ttf uh, ttf jetbrains mono nerd. All right, so um, decoration font color, yeah, master. Okay, we can leave all of the key bindings as they are. Uh, desktop count six is okay. Um, a window background color, I really don't care about that. A window border width, yeah, we could change that. But um, yeah, let's just leave it for now. A window border color, yeah, you can change that to your liking. Um, yeah, all right. So um, basically, the config is pretty easy uh, to use. So um, yeah, just for example, show bar. If you don't want to bar, you can just type false in here. Um, but I'm going to actually use my own config and. Um, you can also use my own config, but if you want to configure a uh, record yourself, go ahead. For example, for the bar desktop icon CC, we have that gradient going on. Um, you see icon is one, two, three, four, and the color is just uh, this gradient. So you can change all of that to your liking. It's actually pretty easy. And you can also add custom key bindings. Um, yeah. All right, um, but uh, we're going to use my config, and for that um, I'm going to just um, go cd dot dot, and you're going to type uh, git clone https uh, github.com slash copyprice slash dot files new dot files. All right, so we have uh, two options: Everforest and Red Blue. Those are my configs, but we're going to use Red Blue because uh, that's my vibe currently. And you can see the dot dot out of them and go into Ragnar and then you're going to type uh, copy dot dot slash uh, dot files new or just dot files yeah and then uh, red blue um, Ragnar slash config dot h uh, config dot h and if you go into your config now um, so into config dot h uh, you see a config by Coco Cry and um, yeah, the only thing you have to adjust is uh, your monitor count. So if you have a different mo uh, count of monitors, for example, one, uh, just uh, say okay. We have only one monitor, and correctly do that. And also for um, a few things, for example, for the info label pass, uh, just remove the one for the second monitor. 
and um, yeah but if you did that you're pretty much all set and now um, type sudo make ragnar install right perfect so let me reboot and we'll see us in a second all right i'm back and as you can see um the bar had a really nice glow up and for example here you can see like unicode symbols and some uh, things still are missing and those are the background image because obviously you can see my background is black and also animations animations are maybe um, not that important but if you want them i will show you how to add them all right um so uh first the background uh, you're going to want to install nitrogen so uh, power dash s nitrogen or for your package manager um, as you install it like apt get nitrogen if you did that uh, you're going to want to make their uh, wallpapers um, I'm just going to call it wallpapers test because I already have wallpapers and you're going to um, go into wallpapers test and um, you're going to copy uh, from your uh, bot files um, directory um, slash red brew slash wallpapers uh, slash wall heaven and um, you know the drill uh, copy that into um, here so into your wallpapers and then you need to type nitrogen dot and as you can see that's the wallpaper if you want another wallpaper you should use it but um, this just fits with the vibe I, th I think and apply it for your screen and as you can see uh, it changed and we have a very nice wallpaper all right so uh, now you can quick quit all of that and uh, open another terminal and um, now you need to want to type a power ash dash s pcom pjulius git right or just apd git as you know it. and um yeah uh, this will download a compositor that is called pcom and uh, pcom just adds uh, very nice animations and um, other things uh, to your window manager and um, yeah if you have that uh, then you're going to want to go into .config and if there is not a pcom folder you're going to make your pcom and you're going to cd into pcom and then cd out of a config and move dot files slash red blue slash pcom slash pcom.conf dot config slash pcom uh, pcom.conf alright so you're going to want to do that so do that and uh, this will apply my pcom config uh, for you uh, if you want to do your own do your own but uh, my is uh, i think mine is pretty cool and you can easily use that one all right but as you can see we have still no animations and um, uh, to fix that you're going to want to go in your ragnar folder and in here i'm um, going to ragnar start and add a few things for example nitrogen dash dash restore which restores your wallpaper and a pcom dash b dash dash experimental backends which will uh, run uh, your pcom uh, which will enable animations so that's um, what you're going to want to do when you start right now so to make install to apply that all right and uh, let's um, quickly reboot a last time and we'll see us um, in a second Alright, um, I'm back and as you can see everything is really smooth, the bar has a shadow and everything is just really nice and if, you op if we open a new window, as you can see, it has an opening animation and um, you can also do uh, multiple windows and as you can see they are transparent. Um, if you don't want transparency for example, you can go into your pcom config, cd config dash pcom and um, here I have that blur uh, thing. You can just uh, comment um, all of that out. And, um, all right, I uh, like that. Uh, all right, so now we don't have a blur, but we still have uh, transparency. And for that, you're going to want to go into config alacrity and alacrity.yaml and just uh, say opacity is one. And probably you don't even have the opacity set to something that's not one because um, that's not the default. So yeah, if you want to um, change the opacity, you always go into your alacrity config and change that. And um, yeah, uh, now you're pretty much all set. 
and everything is fine, everything is nice, and you have a really cool setup. And um, yeah, for for example, for the keybinds of Ragnar, you can go to the web page of Ragnar. Um, if you want to support Ragnar, go to the GitHub page, star it. Um, yeah. And if you have any bugs or questions uh, with Ragnar, uh, then you can easily submit submit an issue on uh, GitHub or just write a comment. Um, yeah. So. Thank you for watching, I hope um, you enjoy your new setup and yeah, we'll see us in the next one, bye.